Good morning, everyone. Opening song is out of the Glory and Praise, which is a larger book, number 379. 379, O sons and daughters. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. O sons and daughters, let us sing the King of heaven, the glorious King. O'er death today rose triumphing. Alleluia. That Easter morn at break of day, the faithful women went their way to seek the tomb where Jesus lay. Alleluia. An angel clad in white they see, who sat and spoke unto the three, your Lord has gone to Galilee. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this feast of St. Kateri, we ask her intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Stefania Bodo, Carmen Kalura, and the special intention for Sunil Crasto. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy. For he is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by Paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly Maker. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Peter and John were released by the rulers and elders, they went to their friends and reported what the chief priests and the elders had said to them. When their companions heard it, they raised their voices together to God and said, Sovereign Lord, who made the heavens and the earth, the sea and everything in them, it is you who said by the Holy Spirit, through our ancestor David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples imagine vain things? The kings of the earth took their stand and the rulers have gathered together against the Lord and against his Messiah. For in this city, in fact, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, gathered together against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed to do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined to take place. And now, Lord, look at their threats and grant to your servants to speak your word with all boldness while you stretch out your hand to heal and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. When they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Happy are, all who put their ne- Happy are all who put their trust in the Lord. Happy are all who put their trust in the Lord. Why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and his anointed saying, let us burst their bonds asunder and cast their cords from us. 
Happy are all who put their trust in the Lord. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord has them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. Happy are all who put their trust in the Lord. I will tell of the decree of the Lord. He said to me, you are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will make the nations your heritage and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with the rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Happy are all who trust in the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Now there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews, who came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do apart from the presence of God. Jesus answered him, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, How can anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? He answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I said to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it came from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. The Feast of St. Kateri reminds us that the Holy Spirit works among all people in all times. St. Kateri was very influential in her community amongst our indigenous brothers and sisters to remind them of the great presence of Jesus Christ. And she was so powerfully influential in interweaving their own cultural understandings with that of the gospel message. And she continues to be such a beacon of hope for us in recognizing also as one of the patron of youth I remember a few World Youth Days where she was one of the patron saints that the Holy Father, especially John Paul II, chose as an influencer for us. And I know that growing up, St. Kateri and her story made a drastic impact on my own spirituality as a young man, although I still think I'm a young man, but whatever, right? Age is just a number. The reality is St. Kateri has much to teach us in the face of adversity and how she was even willing to sacrifice her own reputation for the sake of the gospel as a young woman in a community in which men ruled. So the fact that Kateria had a voice leads us to understand that indeed she was respected among her own people and among her own tribes. What's important for us to understand in the gospel message that Jesus wants Nicodemus and all of us to understand is the impact of the Holy Spirit and being born of the Spirit. In some of the more contemporary spiritualities, we've talked about being slain in the Spirit, the charismatic movement. These are powerful ways in which in our church we truly focus on the impact of the Holy Spirit and how he is guiding us 
in our daily lives and in our prayer before God. Sometimes people speak in tongues. Sometimes people are moved by more of the um, contemporary hymns, like myself, where we can see the face of God in the words that we pray, for when we sing, we pray twice. But let's not also forget Psalm 2, coming out of Divine Mercy Sunday. Happy are they who put their trust in the Lord. Again, it's not just a statement we're to make, Jesus, I trust in you, but it's a lifestyle. It's this belief that even when it doesn't make sense, even when we feel like Thomas at times before he has his conversion of the Spirit, that we are called to trust in the Lord. No matter how great the day is or how difficult it is, God is with us. And so with great joy, the church gives us these things to focus on today as we journey with the Lord and continue the Easter season. As we lift our hearts and needs to God, we present to him our petitions. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of the church, may God enable us to manifest his kingdom by our actions and our lives, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials, may the Holy Spirit empower them in governing with prudence, justice, and fortitude, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are overwhelmed by sin or suffering, may the Lord pour out his grace upon them and bring them his healing, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who belong to this community of faith here at St. Joseph. May the Holy Spirit help us to bear good fruit in all that we do, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who have died, marked with the sign of faith. We remember especially Stefania and Carmen, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they soon find comfort in the loving arms of Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we bring to God from the silence of our hearts. God of glory, we place our prayers in your hands, trusting that you will grant us what we need most. Please grant them according to your most holy will, through Christ our Lord. St. Kateri, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. But in this time, O Lord, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, And in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land and every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with all the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, 
Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. Oh, Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we now celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Stefania and Carmen, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Kateri, St. Catherine of Alexandria, St. Faustina, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. B. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord our God, through our communion in the body and blood of your Son, the grace of detachment from all things that pass. Like St. Kateri, we may live on earth with a sincere love for you, and in heaven with the joy of beholding your face. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. That night the apostles met in fear. Amid them came their Lord most dear and said, My peace be on all here. Alleluia. When Thomas first the tidings heard, how they had seen the risen Lord, he doubted the disciples' word. Alleluia. My wounded side, O Thomas, see. Behold my hands, my feet, said he. Not faithless, but believing be. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. God bless you. Have a good day.